music, dream chasing, everything in one, man. It's been so crazy just getting older and learning new things and seeing everything not going to go how we want it to sometimes. So adjustments, man. That's all we've been doing, making adjustments to keep moving forward. Hey man, first off, folks been calling me Fetty Wap and shit. Right. <laughs> let me just let me just clear something up. These my dreads, I cut them off like these. Give the close up. These my dreads, I, I kept all my old pictures up. Anybody who knew me, I had dreads. Um, I decided to cut them off a year and a half ago. I was I was going through a lot. I didn't know where I wanted to. I, I thought I was gonna be somebody who I didn't want to be, man. Pretty much, like. I thought I was going more towards the corporate shit. I was just gonna say, fuck it, you know, I'ma just, I'ma conform to what folks want me to look like and all that shit. So I cut them off, man. It was, it was such a, a hurried decision, but I regretted it after I did it. But you know, at that point, you just go through with it. So um, I really, I was rocking the low cut. I got tired of that, and I, I had a little fro. I got tired of that, but, um, it's crazy when I seen when I seen Fetty Wap do it and they say he bought somebody's, I was like, damn, I got my shit in the bag. Like, should I sell my locks for a band or something? I was like, nah. Nah, he mine. So um I said I'm gonna put them back in my head. But I was also thinking about um, going away to the army. But I, I just said, fuck it man, I'ma just I'm gonna just stay here and keep doing the music thing. Um and my ex I, I, was just, <laughs> I was just making a lot of decisions for other people, man. I'm just long story short. So I said, fuck it, I'm putting back in. So I grew my fro out, got them back attached. So I'm back dreaded. A lot of folks, they just don't understand things like that. But they just, I don't know, I'm just real confident in my actions, man. If I want to do something, I do it. Like, I don't even, I don't really care about what nobody say, about nothing I do. Like, if it's anything I want to do, I do it. So. I've been getting a lot of feedback, positive and negative about it, but I'm back dreaded. I can shake them, all that. They not plastic, it's my shit. Bread DNA, man. You can trace the DNA back to me, man. You can't trace it back to no horse, no Brazilian. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy sometimes I try not to get overwhelmed with thinking about how fucked up the world is. Like, we blessed to be here, but the world real fucked up right now, man. So, <laughs> along with that, a lot of things be fucked up in our own personal life. So, we all just trying to, I try not to overwhelm myself thinking about all that at once. But, as far as just me and music, I just feel like, um, I feel like the music game in a good state right now. But, we still trying to get on. So, you know, until that happens, we're not going to be fully satisfied. We're doing it because we love it. But, I mean, it's a lot of bullshit out. Let's not... Let's not get confused about nothing. It's a lot of good music out, it's a lot of bullshit out, but that's just the balance of the whole music game. But I mean, other than music, just, I'm cool, man. We, we still living, I'm about to be 25 next week. Like, learning new things, meeting new people, networking. Shit, I just got a new whip, man. SS. <laughs> yeah, man, so I just been, I just been doing my thing, man. I can't even, I can't. I can't uh, complain because I'm blessed, so, you feel me? No. What about BC? We doing our thing, man. That's all. I'm not, I'm not even going, I'm not trying to be cocky about it, but we doing our thing, man. And we so, we so set to accomplish what we said we're going to do. Like, we're not worried about nobody else. We're not worried about what nobody else added in life. Like, we just been so steady since we started doing it. And we lost a lot of people. I'm not gonna lie about that. But um, we still got a solid foundation. That's one thing we never lost. Um, what people might not know is, like, we got a lot of artists, everybody in BC talented. If you just click the YouTube page, Lost Club TV, you're gonna see so much shit, man. We do community service, music videos. All of them got different things. All the artists got different flows, different vibes and all that, man. But. Um, we working, that's all I can say. I know everybody said they working, but we really working. Just click the page and the rest will just speak for itself. As far as me, my advice, 
keep doing your thing because once you stop, I just feel like when you stop chasing your dream, that's when your soul just, your soul just start cracking, man. Your dream is your soul in my opinion. So you feel your soul by chasing your dreams. That's just how I feel about it. It's my own little philosophy. And you can't worry about what nobody else say. I can, I can feed a whole village right now and folks will say, damn, why you ain't feed the, the village next to it? But, you feel me? Like, folks always gonna say something negative, man. So, I just train myself to just do my thing regardless. Don't worry about nobody else. That's my advice to y'all, man. If you wanna do music, do it. If you wanna model, do it. Stay in school, do that. But just make sure your decision is for you. Because when you get old, I realize that's how folks turn old and bitter, man. That's why these old folks be bitter, bro. Not all of them, but a lot of them old heads you meet will just be mad at the youth. I just feel like they didn't chase their dreams. So they, they see young folks doing their thing, they get mad. So I always told myself I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going this shit, man. So that's what we're doing. Lost Club shit.